Kyle Larson has started his own racing series. Let's talk about it. Coming up next. <laughs> What is going on, everybody? Hope you're doing good today. All right, later today at 3.30, uh, NASCAR is going to announce the Chicago Street Race. I will either make a video on that tonight or talk about it on the live stream, or I will catch that video tomorrow. But today we are going to talk about Kyle Larson and Brad Sweet teaming up once again. Of course, they already have teamed up to own uh, Silver Dollar Speedway, I think. In, I, I know it's in Chico, California. I'm not a big dirt expert, uh, but I know they own a track in Chico, California. I think it's called Silver Dollar Speedway. Uh, but they have teamed up once again to create their own racing series. So let's get into this article at the heavy. The new series, High Limit Racing, will debut in 2023 and will be exclusive to Flow Racing. There will be 12 midweek races that feature sizable purses, two marquee events that will feature a $50,000 to win prize that helps make up a $140,000 purse. The other 10 events will have $23,000 to win prize as well as an $80,000 purse. Finally, the new series will have a points fund at the end of the year totaling $120,000. Our mission is to help sprint car racing become bigger and better, Larson said in a press release. The High Limit Sprint Car Series will not only create more opportunities for sprint car drivers to race midweek shows for big money, but will also give dirt track fan fans great racing to attend. They can watch live or on demand too, thanks to Flow Racing. I'm very excited to get it started. All right, so this is a really cool thing that Brad Sweet and Kyle Larson are doing, giving back to the lower tiers, the guys that are working their way up, or the guys that are doing it just because they're passionate about it and all they want to do is race. I think this is a great thing. They can go across not only dirt, but it can go across all of the lower series, the touring series, things like that. These guys need an opportunity to make more money because they spend so much money to get these things to the track and hardly ever is the, is the purse uh, worth even racing for. So most of these guys, if they're not trying to work their younger kids are just trying to work their way up to the top. I understand that. But these guys, these veterans that have been doing it for a long time, it is good that somebody is finally looking out for them. Uh, because I can tell you from the late model side, nobody nobody is really making money driving the race car. Some of the people running the teams are making a little bit of money, but nobody's making a, a ton of money. So it is good that... that Somebody has addressed this and is giving money back to the racers. I think this is a much bigger thing in the in the racing community uh, than probably a lot of fans will, will necessarily realize. Like a lot of fans probably won't even care about this story. They, they probably won't really get it. Uh, but what he's doing is is putting money into smaller teams' hands if they can get these wins. Uh, just just the, the prize money and the payout is a huge, huge issue right now. Probably the only bigger issue right now is tires. Uh, we can't get tires right now. I know that's uh, a pinch. I don't think it's affected dirt quite as much, but I think they have felt the pinch a little bit. Uh, but other than tires, this has probably been the biggest thing going on for the longest time. Uh, people have been racing for 10 years and the purse has never changed. So I'm glad somebody with the marquee name like Kyle Larson has come out and basically said, hey, we're changing this because this needs to change. It can't keep going on like this. And I'm glad uh, that it's brought attention to the situation and, and good on him and Brad Sweet uh, for giving these guys more money for racing at the local tracks and things like that. So I think that is absolutely great. And I hope more people uh, pay attention and take notice of it, especially these guys that came up from Pavement Late Models. Uh, I would like to see some of them reach out and try to figure out a similar program for us guys. All right, that is all I got for you today. If you like the content, feel free to subscribe down below. It helps the channel out a whole lot, and I really, really appreciate it. I uh, really appreciate it, guys. Um, and if you got a comment or question, leave it down in the comments. I'll try to get to as many of them as I can. And other than that, thanks for your time. Peace. Kyle Larson has started his own racing series. <laughs>